That detonating cap is extremely sensitive to impact. It will detonate if, if you tromp on it, drop something on it. Uh, you have to watch those very carefully. The team fans out across the structure to implement Mark's plan. They plant the shaped charges. This is how they'll work on the steel. High-powered explosives coat the inside of the V. They're mounted so the explosives face the steel girder. The V shapes the exploding charge into a sharp point. If the shape charge is placed against the element like this, these little rubber feet you see right here, these keep the shape charge the precise distance from the material you want to cut. What that does is that gives it time for the jet to literally form. It's called the Monroe effect. By placing the explosives a small distance away from the steel, the two jets of explosive power emitted from either side of the V come together. The precise moment they meet on the steel is when the explosive charge is at its strongest. This will speed up to 27,000 feet per second detonation, creating an incredible amount of pressure on this steel, literally cutting through it like a knife. 25 days of hard-won groundwork begin to pay off. The explosives team puts Kevin's 180 box cuts to good use. By putting this little box in here, obviously we're allowing a place to put the shape through the web of the column. This little V here gives it a place to slide off. That's all it does. And by, the, by putting them on at this diagonal, we're trying to fill this structure in this direction. By creating this diagonal, we're making it easier for the top of this to slide off the bottom. It's a simple and effective way to get inertia working in their favor. 